My thoughts on being in the mountains is definitely a different vibe than being in Jersey. In morning, sometimes we go on runs and I'll just be running down the street and see the sunrise over the mountains and it's just like, wow, I'm really here right now. I had never thought previously that I wanted to do a semester school or leave home for that long. But after having a presentation at my school about what HMI was really all about, I realized that I guess I couldn't really pass up on such a fantastic opportunity. I've had a really great time, even though it's only been about a few weeks. I feel very engaged and I'm learning a lot from all the readings I've been doing, so it's really great. <laughs> I'm studying for my, for my Spanish quiz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's like a, definitely a healthy balance here. It's a lot more interactive. I feel like we're not being spoken at as much, but there's no lecturing. It's more interactive. The first reading for the semester was about education. These two concepts, there's like a banking concept and a problem posing concept. And the banking concept is really like dehumanizing. And that's like the lecturing kind of like way of teaching. And here it's like the problem posing. So we're just kind of given this reading and we're told to discuss it and figure it out ourselves, so I, I really enjoy it. Me gusta mucho aprender sobre los grupos indígenas porque nunca he hecho esto y estoy aprendiendo muchas cosas nuevas y eso me emociona mucho, sí. I have outdoor chores, which is basically sweeping and shoveling most of the time. So basically, I just sweep all around the floor and under the mats, under the climbing mats, and then I just wipe down all of the horizontal surfaces like the door handles and window sills. I also have to clean the windows too. My chore is cleaning the classroom. So every morning I come in and I vacuum and wipe off tables and the whiteboards. And yeah, I really like it. Cook crew is one of the things I most enjoy about HMI because I think it's really fun to be able to cook our own food for all of our classmates and then have them in turn cook for us. It's like a really good bonding time for everyone because it's in the kitchen just having a blast. I don't know, I just really enjoy it. Yeah, we're making fajitas for lunch today and usually we have 46 students um, to cook lunch, dinner, and breakfast. and. They learn how to cut chicken, vegetables, and flavor the food. Me and Jeff kind of give a lot of freedom to the students on like what kind of food they want to make and really teach them what flavor goes well with each other. Yo estoy cocinando como no, co no cocino en la casa. Um, me pusieron a cocinar aquí y um, es muy divertido ya. Estoy aprendiendo mucho. I really like how many options there are. I mean. There's obviously the stuff that's up at the food bar, but there's also like cereal, there's also some bagels. You can get your fruit and granola, but it's all pretty good. How is HMI different from home? Um, being in person for classes is really fun. It's nice to like be there with your teacher and your friends and being able to like talk and discuss the materials. The whole culture of just being on campus 24-7, always around people, it's a different vibe. You get used to it, but it's really fun. Um, and like your friends are always there, which is great. One thing that really surprised me about HMI was just how open everybody is and how great everybody is here. Like normally at my school, it's not as welcoming. Here I feel like I'm friends with just about everybody. I can just sit at whatever table I want and have a just a fantastic time. And I wasn't expecting that from a high school experience and I really, really enjoyed it. So this is the gear room and this, these are the telly boots. So this week is actually ski week. So we all got a pair of boots and telemark skis. Every few days we go to Ski Cooper and are learning how to tele-ski, which is very exciting. And then over here are the telemark skis. Ours are all loaded in the buses, but here are some other ones. Over here we have layers, so wind pants, rain pants, snow pants, puff pants. Puff pants are my absolute favorite. I didn't realize what a necessary piece of equipment they were. I lived in them on XPad 
and I even wear them around the cabin sometimes or I wear them to science class when I'm cold so it's like wearing sleeping bags on your legs it's amazing <laughs> Welcome to cabin three, we're gonna show you around. Yeah, we're gonna go make a fire, which is how we keep our cabin nice and warm at night. This is a great that first now. learning experience. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, I mean, usually whoever gets back to the cabin first at night after study hall tries to start a fire. We've been taught to just kind of make a teepee formation with the logs and then use paper and kindling to help get it started and it hopefully should look like this. One of my favorite parts of HMI so far has been First Expedition. We were just kind of thrown into the wilderness um, very early on with a new group of people and we just bonded on a different level. Having like been on Exped before, the thing that I always look forward to towards the next expeditions would be the cooking part. In my tarp group, I was the cook and it was like so exciting the different meals you can make with all the uh, rations they give you. It's, it's amazing. I have not seen a phone in about over a month now. And I mean, I think it's really a nice thing to get away from it. And obviously I don't want to forever, but for four months, it's an amazing retreat being more in the real world. I love not having technology. It's super cleansing, like without a phone. And I don't know, it's just nice not to like have any prior knowledge of anyone like through their social media before coming here. So it's just like a totally clean slate. Right now behind us, everyone's wood Woo! shopping. Here at HMI, we have each semester talks with for the next semester. So the, the wood yeah! that we use for our fire is semester 45 talk for us. So, so now we're chopping the wood for the next semester. I've always loved building fire and it's so much fun to like really depend on that for your heat and like just being able to gather by a warm fire at night is an amazing experience. I've never chopped wood before. <laughs> this is my first time. No, I've never chopped wood before. This is going to be a new experience. so much they've taught the rest of the apprentices so much I'm sure every other adult on campus would say the same thing um, and this community would not be what it is without the students uh, and the excitement that they bring to every activity every idea every class that we have here at HMI. I'm really grateful for this experience. In the canyons I think I learned a lot about myself and did a lot of self-reflection after sort of being in quarantine for the past almost year being isolated, I don't know, I think I had a lot of time to think about who I was as a person and then kind of coming back to a group of people who are all super supportive, um, kind of taught me a lot about who I am and who I want to be in the future. Hi Sandy, hi Mark, I love you. Mwah. Hi mom in Colorado, I really miss you and I miss your food a lot and the only thing I want when I get home is a big hug from you. I love you so much. I miss you a lot, but I'm really happy here. I'm good, I'm never coming home. <laughs> HMI is great, we're having a blast. Um, it's gonna be hard to come home, but I miss you guys. Hi mom, hi dad, wish y'all the best. I'm having an amazing time here. Love y'all.